Hey, welcome my YouTube friends. Um, today's video, um, I'm going to get back into our year in review um, interactive scrapbook pages. So yay. So welcome, welcome my friends. All right. And I know it's been a long time coming, but um, I'm now able to be back um, working on this project. And oh my gosh, it's a wonderful project. Um, you can purchase the tutorial. I will put the link down below. Um, where you get the cut and guide, the written instructions, and then you'll get um, all the process videos inside a project folder. And then I am taking pictures of it being completed and putting inside um, the tutorial as well. Okay. So one thing, um, these are supposed to be pretty simple. Um, I noticed that last set that we've done, it, they're, they're pretty heavy. I mean, that's pretty heavy. Okay. Our last set was this one right here. And it has a pocket here. <laughs> and it has that. And then it has a belly band with um, waterfall. So pretty darn cool. So when we're making these pages to go into a 3D ring binder, um, like this set right here, is pretty heavy so it will go here's our pretend this is our ring binder here the back side that's got to go on this has got to be a pretty light page so if you have a heavy page you've got to have a light page on back now you're not do, going to do it right on back of this keep these um separate okay um, because I have a way of putting it all together and I need to get some simple ones done and then I will um, show you how to bring this all together. Okay, but we've got to get some um, more simpler ones, ones that don't weigh as much for the back sides. Okay, I mean, even this one, you, we got quite a bit of weight there. Now, these here are on the lighter side. Well, this one's pretty heavy. <laughs> so we've got to do, and sometimes just on the back side, it could be a belly band. It could be a pocket, um, a, just a plain scrapbook page on the back side. Okay. Because you don't want to put a heavy one against a heavy one because that's going to be way too much for um, one page. Okay. I hope I hope I'm making sense. It will when it all comes together. Okay. So this is going to be set for, and it is going to be a simpler one. And I'm going to do a, just a simple um, one thing over here that would, you know, so that way a back page could be a heavy one and this will be the light one. Okay. So this is set four. So yay. All right. So I got um, 12 by 12. First thing that I want to do is I want to make sure these are a true 12 by 12. All right, so I put in my trimmer. Yeah, see, it's off. It's off by that much. So make sure you always check before you start. Yeah, that's really off. Ooh. All right, so I'm going to do my other one. And I will tell you, unless you find a bigger binder, you probably will not be able to fit all these designs. Um, I have the We Are Memory Keepers binders, the 3D ring binders. And I don't think you'll be able to fit all of these pages unless we really start making some skinny ones. I don't know if we'll fit them all in. But we are going to be doing some more simpler ones because those... They weren't supposed to be that heavy. Well, you know me. I get carried away. <laughs> All right. So there is my pieces for my for my base. Okay. So now I'm going to grab. Do I want white? No, these are going to be. Well. Yeah, I think I do want white. Okay. So I'm going to cut six and a half by 12, six and a half by 12. Okay. So 
save this piece because I probably think we're just going to do a belly band over here. So save that piece because I think that's what's going to go go over here. We'll use it for something. Okay. So there's that piece. Now for our next piece. Let's uh, see. It has to be. Oh, where's my black paper? Ah. Oh, there it is. Let's try a nine, nine by twelve. Yeah, let's try a nine by twelve. Okay, nine by twelve. Okay, nine by twelve. So now get your scoreboard out. Okay, we said this one was 9 by 12. And we're going to score 12 inch side at half an inch. And then this other piece was 6 and a half by 12. And we're going to score on the 6 and a half inch side. At half an inch. All right. Just so I can get the cutting guide done for you guys. All right. So you're going to put this piece in your scoreboard at 12. And you're going to score half an inch. Okay. This piece... We're going to score on the six and a half inch side at half an inch. Okay. And I'm going to apply my tape on the indented side. Yeah, as soon as we get some, um, oh, where's my there? Some simple pages then I will show you how to put this all together because we need some simple ones I don't want to put some heavy heavy one up against a heavy one we need some little bit lighter pages Okay, now you're just going to fold. All right, let's set this piece aside for right now. I'll set these other two pieces and we can, ooh. A double belly band. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's our base page. So I'm just going to put it on this side. Gonna line it up and I forgot to make sure this one is 12 inches sticks over now I'm gonna do this side all right I'm gonna round these corners here. Ooh, do I want to leave a little bit of black showing? So we may put this one on first. Ooh. Well. I kind of like that with that little strip. You know me and my strips. I kind of like that. Then we can leave just a little bit of the white peeking through. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to about quarter of an inch. Make sure you're squared. Take your tape off. Okay. 
<coughs> now this piece and do I want to round or keep this one okay so this one here you're going to center it from top to bottom and I'm just going to leave just a little bit of that white peaking okay so like that so then we would have this and this I like that that's pretty simple okay grab this piece now I think we're gonna do a double belly band would be cute but we'd have to decorate it with paper first okay this piece right here that's left over is five and a half by twelve I'm gonna score half an inch on each end okay half an inch on each end okay now this other piece I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to score half an inch and this one will be even shorter because this is oh no it won't be because it's 12 that's all right all right So you're going to fold towards the bumpy and burnish. And see, that's going to be shorter. So we, we're going to have to put our paper down first. Or not. We could put strips. Okay, now this piece here, fold and burnish. So let me see. Let me get um let me get our paper. So just a second. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna try and find just a neutral a neutral piece. pretty neutral that would go with anything because if we put this down first you know on our paper and then we have that then we've got this here but if we put this down first and then put our paper we could always put a strip down here of our design paper this way when we're putting stuff in and out of our pockets let me see if I can find something here so, that way when you're putting stuff in and out of your pockets it's not getting caught on this piece right here so let's do it I love those So cute. All right, so now let's get this piece here down, okay? So let me get my tape on. So this complete set will contain single, you know, pages like this. It will contain pages that are 
like this that just are um, that will go on the back side of real heavy pages. And then it will contain double pages that, you know, kind of mirror each other or go together. Because I wasn't thinking about that when I was doing those um, page here, page here, and we were interactive on both sides. Well, when you flip those and you got a double page layout here that match, you know, it's too heavy for that one page. So we got to do some simple ones. All right. Now, I think, of course, this one. All right. I think I'm going to offset this. And let me give you a measurement. I think I'm going to go about two inches. So, what I'm going to do, what's that? Oh, washi tape. I was like, what's on the bottom of that ruler? Okay, so I'm just going to go two inches, make a little tick mark. Okay. That tells me where to put this. As long as I get it straight. Gives me a rough estimate anyway. You can line up with your lines, but just make sure that you're lined up here to you know you have the same amount of space i think that looks good all right stick it down all right now we have this here and i'm wondering if we shouldn't make it at a different level well Let's just go the same. Okay, so now I'm going to put this one at 5 eighths. Oh, I need to get my need to get my tape on it. And like I said, simple pages could be, and I'm going to do a, several just simple <coughs> for um, the back side of heavy pages. Like I said, it could be a pocket down here. It could be a slanted pocket. It could be a belly band. Um, it could be a double pocket just to hold a booklet. It could be just a plain scrapbook page where you just, there's no interactive on it. It's just a, a scrapbook page. Okay, what did I say? Five eighths. All right, there's that. Now, to get our paper underneath here, it is 11 inches. So I'm going to go 10. I'm going to go 10 and 3 quarters and one notch. Okay. Oh, I need to cut it down just a little bit that way. So, um, 11 and three quarters and then one notch. I do that a lot. That one notch. <laughs> I could almost go down just... Just a tad bit more, but that's all right. And then you're just going to center it in your belly band. Okay, so just like that. What's on the back side of that?
Hmm. Too much white. Too much white. But see, then down here we can put strips. You know, you, so you would put strips down there. I like that. Alright, so there's that. So you'd be able to stick, um, not a booklet, just a sing, you know, a couple of single page layouts. And this one here, a couple of single page um, layouts. Alright, so that's going to be, and this don't even have to go with this. This couldn't go somewhere else in your album. That's the beauty of this is that you can design your um, pages here and then you just pick and choose which um, lighter pages that you want to go with this. All right. So then this one, oops, has a flip here and a flip here. Now... I'm wondering, can we do one more flip? You know me. I'm supposed to be keeping these simple. Because I don't want these to get too heavy. Because they'll go on the back side of some of our heavy ones that we have designed. <coughs> I do like that, though. Um, let's do it. This piece of paper is, I just happened to grab it out of there and it's perfect. Eight and a half. And it's nine and seven eighths. Okay. Eight and a half. By nine and seven eighths. And you're going to score on the nine and seven eighths side at half an inch. All right, so let's do this. So I'm going to score half an inch, apply my tape, <coughs> yeah there's a lot to be thinking about when you're making one of these and sometimes it's better to make all your pages first then put them together like you want them then um, decorate your your um, pages all right so I'm going to put that right up against oh I want a little bit of black showing just peeking out you can put it up against or just have a little black peeking out Totally up to you, but I like it when a little bit is peeking out. Okay, we didn't round those. So now we have that, and that is fantastic. See, our other ones that we did, we designed um, the page that was going to go corresponding with it, you know, where it was a heavy, heavy page. So when we're doing those heavy pages we need to get some light ones to go on the back sides of them especially this type of um pages okay yeah, i'm gonna cut that down just a little bit more all right this is set four And I don't know if I'm going to do any more decorating. 
because I'm not for sure. So this was go this would go on the back side of our third page, fourth page. So see like here just a sec, I'll show you. Let me grab those last pages that we done. So pretend this is in our album. Okay, let me get it set up. We'll pretend that it's in our album. Okay, and we're looking at it. Okay, so you know you open it up and you got all that. And I'm a... So then when you flip this over, this is a heavy page. This is why I'm designing a light page. A light page to go on the back side. So then this would be shown right here. And this is relatively going to be a light page. So then we flip this over. You could do a heavy page here and a light page here. This thing can be set up so it is so versatile, but you just you just don't want to put a heavy page on a heavy page on a heavy page on a heavy page. It's too much. You have to you've got a heavy page, then you kind of need a lighter page. So um, some of these sets, I know set five, six, and seven is going to consist of some lighter pages. So like this page here, this is our third set here. This actually could go here if we wanted it, you know. It could go before, you know, it could go before our real heavy set. You see, here's our lighter set. So then when we flip it, then we got a heavy set on the back side. Oops, this one was supposed to be here. This one over here. Because pretend this is our binding here. Okay. So then we'd have this page here. And then when we flipped it, we'd have our heavier page. Now this one here is so heavy. This, this has to have a lighter one on the back. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I'm going to do some lighter ones um i think there's three videos um or three classes the april may june ones are going to be kind of lighter designs i know christmas needs to be a heavy one because we all christmas and the fall thanksgiving those need to be some heavier ones all right all right so this is set four and then once we get these three sets I'm done. I will show you how to put this all in an album so you can get it all set how you want it. Then you can start decorating because you may decide you don't want that beside here. You may decide you want that um, in the Christmas one. Well, if you go ahead and decorate it, you, you know, and this one's decorated for summer and you want it in the Christmas one, it's not going to work because you already decorated it in summer not the christmas so um i'm what i'm thinking about is getting some of the sets done and then trying to um get it show you how to put it in an album so that way you can be deciding how you want yours okay all right that's all i have for you um today i hope you enjoyed this set um keep an eye out for set five um, it's going to be on the lighter side as well. And then we'll do a real simple one for this side for our heavier pages. All right. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next video. As always, keep scrapping. Bye-bye.